Aloha guys, here we are with our first video about this series, why you need to learn more about your rising sign. First of all, your rising sign is also called the ascendant and you can find it in your birth chart, which is a beautiful and perfect picture of the stars and planets disposition on in the sky when you took your very first breath. So the rising refers to the sign which was rising or ascending on the eastern horizon at the moment of your birth. There we go. So now you know what the rising sign is. First, let me burst a myth about the rising sign in astrology. It's not the mask that we wear in public. <laughs> I heard that over and over again. So what is it? It's a wonderful tool to understand yourself a lot more. It can help you understand how you interact with others and how you actually present yourself to the external world. Um, it, can give us, uh, it can give you insights on how you approach different situations like relationships and goals and motivation and also it helps you make informed decisions. In astroherbalism, the rising sign is the first placement and house that we check because it shows me your main physical constitution and your overall physical nature for like how is the energetic uh, how is the energetic nature of your body, your organ system, your different various systems, how they work and how the vital force, which is the sun, can become excess or deficient. It also helps me determine your body responding to different stressors. Yeah, let me give you an example. The rising sign is the structure in the outside of your home, while your sun sign will represent more of your kitchen and the living room areas, which correspond more to your core being. So how do you think about this? Hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think. What is your rising sign? 